Thanks for joining us. We're going to be talking about how to right-size your infrastructure with AppDynamics and Cisco Workload Optimization Manager today. My name is Shreyans Parekh and I'm a Senior Manager of Product and Solutions Marketing here at AppDynamics. I'm going to be followed by Ben Haddix, Senior Sales Engineer here at AppDynamics, who's going to be giving you an in-depth demo into both AppDynamics and Cisco Workload Optimization Manager, or CWOM for short. So before we get started, the information and materials included in this presentation are the confidential and proprietary information of AppDynamics LLC. No part of the materials may be reproduced, distributed, communicated, or displayed in any form or by any means without prior written permission and consent from the company. When we look at user expectations today, we know that they've been never been higher before. Whether it's consumer applications or business applications, uh, user expectations are at, its, at, at the highest that they've ever been. And we know that on the back end, application and infrastructure complexity are exploding. We see that there, there are many distributed services, programs, compute languages um, running in the background. There are more and more dependencies between these services within the topology. And there's much faster cycles of software deployment today that we see than ever before. So the question arises, how do you connect the application outcomes with infrastructure resourcing? We see that on the back end, there are many different issues that can arise. And so what we've been able to do here at AppDynamics is provide a transaction scorecard that delineates when your business transactions are normal versus slow versus very slow um, so that you can take action before these transactions become errors and then hence affect the end user experience. So customer experience is constantly impacted by workload placement and capacity. So that we see virtualization, multi-cloud environments, containers, all being deployed on the back end. And so it, it creates this sense of complexity in which it's now very difficult to be able to correlate what's happening with, with your application outcomes with your infrastructure resourcing. So here at AppDynamics and Cisco, we've been able to produce a integration called Cisco Workload Optimization Manager, or again, CWOM for short, in which we're able to start with the application and see based on virtual machines, data centers, storage, modules, the network, we're able to get a full end-to-end -end topology and be able to see when transactions are actually being slowed down before they actually become errors in your backend environment. Now, when we look at the, uh, our vision for AI ops going forward, we really uh, view this vision in three distinct pillars, one of which is visibility, insight, and action. For visibility, we can see that the application and business layer, infrastructure, network, and security, the visibility into each of these layers is absolutely critical. And rather than have disparate systems or disparate services that provide this visibility, AppDynamics is really your, uh, your single plane of glass that provides this holistic visibility across public and private cloud environments. The time series and events data from each of these layers of the technology stack is then injected into what's known as our cognition engine, which is what you see in the middle. This is our machine learning and AI algorithm, which connects the correlation that, that are happening between your, your time series and events data, alerts, uh, any APIs that you're using, and provides a unified dashboard to view this, uh, the, the insights provided here. This information is then uh, delineated out to our actioning pillar, which is on the right side. And so I want to focus on the top three um, um, elements of this pillar, which are incident avoidance, resource scaling, and cost optimization here. And these are really critical use cases around CWOM. What we see is that a closed bridge or closed loop operating model bridging applications and infrastructure operations like never before. Uh, AppDynamics and CWOM are able to provide this closed loop so that from visibility to insight to action, we are able to see uh, 
all of the um, bridges and all of the interconnections between your application infrastructure operations. And as I was mentioning before, this is no longer done in a disparate way, but this is a really unified, connected way of looking at your holistic view of applications and infrastructure. Now, when we, when we view our uh, correlated data, uh, we want to be able to provide correlated data for a common view. So on the left side here, we can see that application um, is correlated to infrastructure, and this is really the CWAM view. So I could see that from your virtual application all the way down to your virtual data center, I'm able to get that full view of uh, any pending actions, any warnings um, before they turn into errors, and this is also being able to be, be done, as you can see from the screen, for on your on-premise environment and your cloud environment. Now on the right side, we're able to see your application correlated to the, to the business view. And so um, we can see that via a flow map environment that you can see here. Once you have, are able to delineate what business transactions are actually slowed and are experiencing errors, we're able to then click into our dashboard and reporting tool uh, which is able to then in real time correlate your business performance to your application performance. Now let's dig into some core use cases of AppDynamics and CWAM. So first, I want to talk about intelligent infrastructure provisioning. The challenge here is how do you scale infrastructure to meet resource demands um, when it is currently a manual and slow and complex process? So first, uh, the visibility that AppDynamics provides. AppDynamics is able to show you uh, the business and per application performance issues that are detected and the correlations between your application and business performance. Next, we're able to see that AppDynamics plus CWAM um, enables you to see that application performance issues are correlated with your underlying infrastructure constraints. And so you're really making that distinct a connection between application and infrastructure. Third, we want to be able to take action. So CWAM um, is able to ensure that a constraint is removed by right-sizing your infrastructure environment for your particular uh, needs at that time. Number four, the feedback loop confirms improvements in business and application performance so that you now have the insights so that when a business and application performance I issue is detected in the future, you're able to take the right and appropriate action on that immediately. Second, I want to talk about continuous cost optimization. So the challenge here is how do you continually optimize uh, co and your costs while ensuring world-class customer experience and performance? AppDynamics is able to provide the visibility, visibility by identifying app code hotspots driving your infrastructure costs. Next, AppDynamics plus CWAM ensures that you have the appropriate insights into your underutilized infrastructure that could be optimized to continue to ensure your cost efficiency. So that anytime that you see that your infrastructure is being overutilized or, or overcapacity or underutilized, you're able to right size uh, in a sufficient manner to optimize on cost. Third, CWAM is able to deliver uh, be the best intersection of app performance with infrastructure allocation and spend so that you know based on the infrastructure that you're utilizing, what are the cost savings that you're experiencing and how can that um, spend actually be allocated to another part of your IT operations budget in the most efficient way. And then fourth again, the f feedback loop confirms optimized infrastructure while delivering continued business and application performance. And with the insights that you're able to gain by this feedback loop, the, uh, you're able to then drive again uh, a more efficient process to continually optimize cost. So I just talked about two core use cases around CWAM. Now next, I want to drill into a demo in which we're able to show you how AppDynamics and Cisco Workload Optimization Manager actually work in tandem to provide you with an optimized in look and environment for your application and infrastructure operations. 
So next I'm going to turn it over to my colleague Ben Haddix, Senior Sales Engineer here at AppDynamics, who's going to present you with the demo. Hello, my name is Ben Haddix. I'm a Senior SE with AppDynamics, and today we will be looking at our integration with CWAM. Our integration with CWAM is part of the CNS uh, vision. It sits on the orchestration side where we can take all the metrics we're collecting that are correlated to a single end user transaction and feed that into CWAM. This allows CWAM to make decisions not only on infrastructure metrics as far as things like CPU, memory, disk IO, IOPS, network, data storage, and all the infrastructure metrics in behind that run in a data center or in the cloud, but it also allows CWAM to take into account application performance and more specifically the end user experience to make decisions on how to optimize your environment. So here's a typical application deployment we have in AppD. This is our AD Financial Lite application. You can see we have some Java and Node.js running along with some MySQL, um, MongoDB, all the fun stuff. And we are sending this data over into uh, CWAM right now. So if we go over and look at CWAM, a traditional CWAM um, deployment without AppD would start here at the virtual machine layer and work its way down. And you could see the entire data center where you're pulling in all these metrics. And you can start to move things around based on performance metrics and this buy sell idea of are there enough resources to to feed the ask above so is my virtual machine asking for more resources than what it can get from the host and if so do I need to spin up more host or can I spin down virtual machine what AppD does is give a, another layer to this on the application side and we can see that by these application servers and now with the business application and in fact, if I click on this business application and go to our list of applications, you'll now see where we have the AD Financial Light reporting in. This is where AppD and the integration with CWAM uh, strengthens what CWAM can do. We're bringing in that end user view and the application view into the infrastructure. So now your infrastructure becomes application aware. By clicking on this, we're going to see a different kind of flow over here on the left. We're seeing the infrastructure specific to this application now. We can narrow down things to look at it application specific, so it makes it easier to narrow down in your infrastructure where the issues are related to the application. So quickly we will see we've got the application servers, we have the virtual machines, and working our way down into the data center and into the disk arrays. But over here on the left, right, we can also see different policies and details of what's happening in this application. I can see by this circle that we've got some critical actions that need to be taken with the application servers. And if I click on that and come over and look at the actions, I can start to see that there's some issues with some heap that it's saying needs to be scaled up. I can also see one of our uh, JVMs, we can actually scale down the heap um, because we're over allocated on resources there. So now we're taking it up a level. We're giving CWAM the ability to look at the entire stack into the application and infrastructure and making that infrastructure application aware. On the virtual machines, we can see there are some actions saying that we can actually scale down and get some uh, cost savings as this is running in the cloud for our virtual machine layer. Again, we can do this not just based on what's the relationship between the virtual machine and the host and if there's enough resources or too many, but now we can also make that decision and CWAM can look at that decision based on what the application performance is as well. So it's just that added layer of saying we can move things around without actually compromising the performance of the application running on this uh, infrastructure. This uh, integration is actually bi-directional, and if I come over and look at my dashboard here in AppD, we can see where we're collecting all of our AppDynamics information. We've got business KPIs, we have transaction and application infrastructure KPIs, 
And right away, I can see that we have some issues here in the policies process. And in fact, we've got about $300,000 of revenue that's at risk. Quickly looking down, I can see transaction wise, we've got a higher response time under the process policy. And in the infrastructure with the app server and some of the VMs, we're starting to have some issues. On the right, we can see the data we're pulling out of CWAM. And I can click here and look at application server and some of the recommendations that CWAM is giving for scaling up the heap, just like we looked at inside the CWAM uh, interface. And we can actually go over and look at the virtual machine as well. As you can see, the screen's actually refreshing in real time. So as these, this isn't old data that you're looking at, but it will actually um, update every minute to show you new stuff coming in. And so then we get recommendations on uh, efficiency. And this is over on the virtual machine side. We can actually dig into these and we can take actions to either drill down or execute the action all without leaving the app dynamics um, screen. You can set these to be automatic and then you would just see the, um, the actions that were taken and you can review those from the screen. So this is our CWAM integration. It is a way to make your infrastructure application aware and taking infrastructure performance, not only automating it and giving recommendations, but giving recommendations with the application and uh, end user performance in mind to make sure that not only is your infrastructure optimized for efficiency and performance, but it's also optimized for end user performance as well. Thank you. Now that we've viewed a demo of AppDynamics and CWOM in action, I just want to cover some highlights of AppDynamics and CWOM working together, providing both application performance management as well as application resource management. Number one, AppDynamics is able to provide you with a full visualization of your application dependencies so that you know in real time what services as well as backend architecture elements are working together to provide you with your uh, front end user experience. CWOM is able to provide you with a visualization of application resource dependencies for your infrastructure. Number two, AppDynamics automates the anomaly detection down to the line of code so that you know in, in real time also very quickly where specific issues are happening and what the line of code are is that is attributed to that issue. CWOM allows you to automate application resourcing decisions, again, with your infrastructure, so that you know uh, how and where to resource depending on your specific needs for traffic uh, and for the business during, for instance, some of the peak times of year for your business. And third, AppDynamics is able to continuously optimize your applications. So you know that on the back end, AppDynamics is working to uh, optimize various elements of your application on the back end and on the front end. CWOM allows you to continuously optimize your application resources on demand so that again, you have confidence that during your peak periods of time, as well as some of your lower periods of time for your business, your infrastructure is optimized based on those business needs. Key takeaways from today's presentation include number one, AppDynamics and CWOM allow you to correlate data for a common view across your infrastructure and application teams. Number two, AppD plus CWOM allows you to show IT's value to the business by tying infrastructure resource decisions to the performance of your business critical applications in real time. And number three, we want you to avoid performance degradation. And the two unique use cases that we discussed today allow you to do that, intelligent infrastructure provisioning and co continuous cost optimization. Next, we encourage you to watch our Accelerate Cloud Migration with Application Visibility and Business Insights breakout session in order to learn more about how AppDynamics will enable you to accelerate and optimize your cloud migration cloud monitoring and cloud optimization strategy. Second, 
To discover more product information, request a demo, and sign up for a beta for any of our programs, please visit appdynamics.com forward slash transform dash now. Specifically, to learn more about CWAM plus AppDynamics, we encourage you to visit the site and explore the, the customized demos that we have available for you. And you can reach out to your specific rep and sales engineer, and they can ensure you, to walk you through uh, a full customized demo of the environment and specific use cases pertaining to your company and industry. Thank you again and we hope to see you soon.